Hello and welcome to Terrain Oddity. My name is Jay and the title of this video is very like boom, in your face. It's is 3D printing, uh, 3D printed terrain cheating? The answer to that is obviously no. It's your hobby. Do as you like. Uh, but I want to talk about um, just people's attitudes towards terrain building in general. And ultimately, I'm going to end this conversation with asking about how you would like uh, to see some 3D printed stuff on the channel and um, what kind of content relating to 3D printed stuff would you like to see? Because I don't really know the best way to do it. So if at the end of this video and you like this video, not necessarily people calling it cheating or what have you, then, you know, press like. And if you're interested in 3D, well, if you're interested in terrain, not just 3D printed terrain uh, and all kinds of terrain, make sure you subscribe as that really does help. So as I said right at the very start here, this hobby generally is just for your enjoyment. You should do whatever you find uh, the most enjoyable. And if anybody tries to get in your way, you tell them to do one, as we say in the northwest of England at least. Um, yeah, so some people have a like a sort of elitist attitude that they would prefer things to be scratch built, like you've cr like you create it, and maybe like from raw materials. However, like you don't make your own basic materials, do you? So there's obviously an element where they think, oh, it's acceptable. But some people will be like, I. Oh, I've seen that building a billion of billions of times or whatever. Obviously, that's an exaggeration, but you get the gist. Um, and they would prefer that you scratch build things. Just ignore them. <laughs> that's literally my advice. Um, flat out ignore them. If you're doing your own hobby, your own thing, um, in your own world, feel free to crack on and do as you please. Um, now there is a bit of a distinction here I would like to make. Let's say um, buying 3D printed terrain is essentially almost the, the exact equivalent of just buying. A different kind of terrain whether it be a weathered a, a resin piece or um, an MDF kit yes the assembly might be different in some ways etc like a resin piece might be fully done and um, the 3d printed piece might be fully done an MDF kit you've got to assemble etc um, but if you're just gonna buy it then I do think it's actually the equivalent of buying your terrain and by the way buying your terrain isn't a bad thing um, there's many things that are easier to buy than they are to handcraft um, it's all up to your budget, your time, your what you deem as quality, what you want, etc. It's all those things. Um, so as I keep going back to the do what you want. Uh, but I have seen some people online say like they don't necessarily class 3D printing as terrain building. And if, as I said, if it's just that you're buying the piece, yes. If though you're actually printing printing it yourself, I have a, like that's actually more technically challenging than I think a lot of people give it. Uh, credit we're not uh, like a plug and play stage when it comes to 3d printing which i would definitely love to be at but we're not quite there yet so you actually have to technically do things um you know whether it's balance the bed get the right kind of filament set the settings on your 3d printer there is actually a crafting element to 3d printing if you're doing it yourself um so even more so i said to the people who say like it's not uh, proper crafting i'd say even more so do one um it's even 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 more so if you start making your own 3d files which it's not hard to do for a bit like if it's squares and circles etc it is obviously harder to make like a person <laughs> um but if you're going to make your own 3d files then that is pure crafting do you know what i mean um the only caveat i have to all of this conversation here is that if you are entering a scratch build competition and they say like don't buy to pre-production pre-produced terrain pieces for your uh, terrain piece and you're entering a competition with those rules then uh, buying the terrain would be cheating only in those conditions but you've like agreed to that you've signed up to that that's something that you're happy happy to engage in um but it's i think sometimes people can have like i can't call it like an elitist attitude where you know it it's only good if you built it all yourself and i i sort of in one hand it like really bugs me but on the other hand I, I understand it seeing something that was a challenge and an effort and they built it all from scratch is rewarding but on the other hand who cares like uh, if somebody's getting enjoyment another way by just building something or buying something um that's already like given to them whether it's 3d printed or what have you let them enjoy it <laughs> just let them enjoy it and if anything we should try and help and promote a culture where everybody can do what they want and everybody enjoys what they want and that sort of leads me on to like what I actually 
I'm sort of using this as a bit of a springboard and I do apologise for that because I don't really think there's much more to say other than do what you want. <laughs> um, I'd be surprised if anybody in the comments even disagrees with that. I, I'd be surprised. Finding people who disagree with that are few and far between. I think we can sort of agree that buying the terrain is... Uh, buying 3D printed terrain is equivalent to buying a different kind of terrain. If that's for you, that's for you. I've bought many different things. I've bought MDF kits. I've even bought 3D printed files, even though I own a 3D printer, because the 3D printing part of it takes so long and is so involved that I wanted to skip it. So, um, yeah, 3D printing. I understand people who say, like, you want to build things from scratch, but just buy whatever you want. Whatever, you, whatever gets you the most enjoyment in your hobby, do that. And I'd be very surprised if anybody disagrees with that. So what I actually really want to talk about, <laughs> but it's not very catchy title, so I've sort of cheated myself here, I'm on, on point though, um, is essentially 3D printed terrain videos. I think it's a little bit, I don't know how to do it, I think it's a little bit hard to do. Um, I'm not sure how to proceed, I want to do stuff, but quite frankly, a lot of the files that I think, oh I'd like to make this, I've already already exist on Thingiverse and I can literally just download them and print them. Now, if something like that happens, then I'm, I can't really show you how I made the 3D files because I didn't make the 3D files. Do you want me to... I don't know how to make content from that. Should I maybe not bother? Should I not make 3D printed content, even though I think like terrain as a whole is sort of going that way, um, but it's not scratch built, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. Should I say, like, just take you through 3D printing terrain as, like, what printers are good for, what... Um, what filaments all that kind of, like should we do like tutorials in the sense of how to get a printer up and running to build terrain should we have like a comparison between 3d printing it yourself and not 3d printing it yourself those kind of videos i can do but let's say i wanted to print a building or some oil drums or whatever it is um can i make a video from that should i make a video from that i'm leaving that like, i'm generally curious what you think i could make a video where i say oh look i've picked this file off thingiverse Here's it printing. I'm not going to speed. I wouldn't do the whole thing because I think that would take forever. I've started the print. Oh, and this is what it looks like. Give you some close-ups. Oh, I'm going to remove the, the lines like this. I've painted it. Oh, that looks cool. It's a, it's an unusual video. So um, I'm not sure if if this would be worth it. I, I Maybe I do 3D printable content talking about 3D printing without actually doing 3D printing. <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the, part of the reason for this video, essentially the main reason for this video is I just want to hear your thoughts on the 3D printed element of the terrain. Um, like me doing content for it because I don't know. As I said, I think going back to the main subject, I think everybody here will be on the same page. Do as you like. And if you are somebody who, the moment you look at somebody who's 3D printed stuff and you'd be like, Phew, they're trying to take credit for that. They didn't put half as much time as I put into my scratch built one. Well, if you think that, I can't change your mind. I wouldn't try to necessarily. Um, I would just say, don't say anything. Let people enjoy themselves. Let people be who they want to be and do what they want to do. And if you have a problem with that, I'd say just chill. <laughs> So it's a weird video. I tried a new camera and it's way up here and it feels like I'm re looking up to the sky and I've noticed two spiders on the roof, which I'm going to have to like try and capture them and save them and put them outside and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Just a little uh, conversation about terrain. I realise this isn't on a Tuesday because I'm all out of sync this week, so I do apologise. I'm still going to call it Terrain Talk because I'm talking about terrain. Closing in the title, really, isn't it? I keep looking here because my screen's here, but the camera's here. Um, anyway... Uh, let me know if you really like if you disagree with me let me know if you agree with me then let me know what content you'd like to see let's do it like that um like and subscribe have a beautiful day though and goodbye